Oh no! Where did that cloud come from? It better not rain on our game, Claire said. Go away, cloud! Please go away. But Misty didn't go away. In fact, her mood was about to get even more turbulent. She went to find her pals, Scud, and Calvin, hoping they would play with her. But Scud couldn't join her for Sky Tag either. He had to stay home and help take care of his brother, Nimby. And Kelvin had to get new glasses, the kind with built-in windshield wipers, very handy. For a cloud made of water droplets, Misty's mood turned unsettled with a chance of rain. She couldn't help herself. She yelled, and every time Misty yelled, lightning flashed, thunder boomed, rain poured down. Today, that meant, uh oh. Game over. Of course, that made Claire very upset, almost as upset as Misty, way up in the sky. Claire stomped her feet and stomped around the house. She was mad. Misty, what's the matter? A voice called out. Mom, this is the worst day ever. Misty said. She told her mother about the airplane, and how upset she was that her friends were too busy to play. You think that everything has gone wrong, dear. That's made you stormy, and being stormy has made you even stormier. Yes, Misty sniffled. Remember, Misty, the more you grumble, the more you rumble. But the rhyme didn't lift Misty's spirits. I'm mad and upset, and I'm going to stay mad and upset. Min Misty thundered back. Forever, her mother asked. Forever, Misty boomed. There's nothing that can cheer you today, Misty's mom wanted to know. Nothing. Not even those. Oh wow, my favorite! Misty beamed. They're so beautiful, and they're coming this way.